Hello good people of planet earth, in this video we are gonna create a squid game wallpaper. I wanna give it a different look, something like a squid game from the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Ok now we are in photoshop with a nice beautiful empty canvas. Let's bring our first guy. I want 3 of them because there are 3 types of this red or pink hooded guys seen in the squid game. I will just copy the other 2. They look exactly the same because they are the exactly same. I'll use the liquify tool later. Rather than following the original costume, I'll go for a slightly different version. I think this texture or whatever is this will suit for a futuristic look. Since I'm gonna add a glow to this symbol, so it will work. I need to warp it so it doesn't look flat. I'll give a square to the front guy. You know each symbol represents a letter in Korean language? All of them combined means OJM which means in Korean I don't know how to say it but it's the squid game. Anyway, I'm gonna add glow to it. This looks cool. Like I said, I'm not gonna follow the original costume. Ok, let's try to change their hoodies a bit. I'll use the liquify tool. Next I'll do the same for the other two guys. The left guy will have a triangle and the right side guy will have a circle. Since they have different duties, should I give a gun to the triangle guy and uh, maybe not. Now it's time to add highlights. Instead of adding highlights in a layer and paint, I'll prefer to use a solid color adjustment layer. In this way, it's easier to change the color. There are so many ways to add highlights in Photoshop. This is just one easy way. Generally, I use three types of highlights. One is a soft highlight, the other one is relatively a strong highlight on the edge areas, and the last one I paint in certain areas to enhance the details. We'll see that in a bit. Ok now I have to do the same for the other two guys. Manually painting highlight takes time but it is worth it. See the differences? It adds so much details and it looks cool. I also wanna add some details to those symbols. Right now it looks kinda boring. Let's see how this works. I'll change the blend mode and make it blue cyan-ish. Yeah I think that looks good. Adding some particles to it make it more awesome. Now it's time for the background. I need to place some lights at the top since these guys have highlights in their heads. I gotta separate them from one another. I will add some smokes between them. This will separate them from one another. After adding more particles, blur and a camera filter, this is my final result. This is kind of a futuristic version of a squid game. One thing that bothering me, they look like same, but in future maybe they will use clones or robots. This makes sense if you think it in that way. I hope you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe my channel and hit the ring button to stay notified for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.